to another vlog, I guess. Travel with me? I don't know. I decided that I wanted to be there for the first time that my nephew ever went to the San Diego Zoo. So I got a cheap spirit flight and flew in just for the day. I know that sounds crazy, but if you don't need like a checked bag or a carry-on, you don't have to pay for a personal item. So my flight was 80 bucks, which is cheaper than driving. And the flight is only 45 minutes. Here was the outfit for the day and Goblin making his appearance. If you're wondering what I do outside when I'm at home, um, it's nothing because I live in Las Vegas and it's really, really hot here, but maybe I'll do more things and make videos out of them. It felt really weird just going to the airport with only my purse. I don't think I'd ever done that before, so I was kind of caught off guard. You know, I brought my Kindle, of course. I'm reading The Secret History by Donna Tartt. I'm actually taking a little break on it, but I'm liking it so far. It's good. My very sweet mother picked me up from the airport and then it was literally just a 10 minute drive to the zoo and we met up with my sister and my brother-in-law and my nephew. He just turned one. He's a little over one now. His favorite animal is a tiger, so we went to the tiger exhibit first. I've been to the San Diego Zoo a lot. I used to have passes when I was a kid and we lived kind of close to it. And this was a day where so many of the animals were out and sunbathing. It was perfect weather, like such a nice day in spring. This guy's relaxing. These two were so cute. One was pulling the other's tail before this clip and I didn't get it, but then he was cleaning his hair. I think the hippos are one of my favorite San Diego Zoo animals just because of how old they are. I don't know, it's very funny to me that they're like in their 40s and 50s and they're just cute, although they're the deadliest animal on earth, I think. I'm not sure about that. Someone can correct me. Another example of the animals just being out and about, again, I've been here tons of times and I have not had experiences like this. This guy was super cute. My nephew was uh, growling at him. It was uh, very funny. Now, one of my absolute favorite parts of this zoo is this little sky trim thing. Forgive me for not remembering the name of it, but it takes you over basically the entirety of the park and you can see other cool parts of San Diego from here as well. It's just gorgeous. And it's also nice if you wanna to walk to the end of the park and then just take this back to the front. A little tip for if you are visiting or planning a visit in the future, we always walk to the back of the park to the polar bears and then take this up to the front and see everything we missed towards the beginning of the park. Unrelated to this duck, onto my favorite snack treat at this park, it is a chamoy mango slash tahini snow cone. It's delicious. I love it. Another one of my favorites, you know, I had to see the capybaras. These ones were weirdly smaller than the ones that I met. I don't know if they're babies or what. Sadly, it was like 6 p.m. and time for me to go home, so I went back to the airport and got through security majorly quick and flew home. 
Now I showed and talked a little bit about my scrapbook on here before, but this is just a little time lapse of me scrapbooking the day, I guess. I try to just keep like mementos for this. I used an old receipt that I had from the zoo and my boarding pass, along with just pictures that I printed on my sprocket and then a sticker that I got at the zoo. The rest of the things I already had. I kind of usually buy stickers in anticipation if I'm going to do something, but a lot of the times I find that random stickers I never think I'm gonna use, I end up using for something something weirdly specific. Here is the finished product. I think it turned out really cute. It's not my favorite page ever, but I, I think it turned out cute. Reich is what my nephew was calling the tiger slash named his little plushy tiger. If you made it to this point in the video, thank you for watching and comment your favorite animal at the zoo.